We are experimenters. We are looking for what makes theater relevant in 2013. I'm Carla Boos. I'm the artistic director of Quantum Theater, which I founded in Pittsburgh 23 years ago. Quantum Theater got its name from the concept in physics wherein the act of, of observing something actually changes what is observed to us. Theater, this ephemeral art form, happens in this moment that is live between an audience and the artists, the performers. We make each project environmentally in a place that's not a theater, that's chosen specifically for that piece of theater. The audience is inside the work, in a sense along with the performers. We hope that the environment brings some compelling, essential part of the play to light. An interesting byproduct of quantum theater's work is that we bring people into different neighborhoods. It mixes the diverse populations of our city. We're a city that's comprised of all these neighborhoods that have very strong characteristics and in a way strong boundaries. We cross them all the time and so does our audience. Well, we've been in the Strip District, we've been in Lawrenceville, in the North Side, in the South Side, as far out as Hartwood Acres, Braddock three times, Bloomfield, Friendship, Garfield, Squirrel Hill. We're here at the Kirkwood Building in East Liberty. This is where our current production, Mnemonic, is being staged. It combines two stories. One of them is a person uh, who is a product, as so many of us are, of the migration of, of people in our modern times. It combines the story with the Iceman who was found in 1991. He was thought to be a couple hundred years old, but it turned out that he was extremely ancient and he was a window into Neolithic man. And it, it asks questions about how we're different, how we're the same, how we're all connected. Perhaps one of the most astonishing discoveries of modern times is the immensity of the past. We love that we are often in the middle of an exciting site that's in transition. It was once a certain kind of business and soon it will be something else. We want to offer everything we can to make our occupation of their neighborhood a positive experience. We want the residents to come free of charge, have perhaps a first quantum experience, and so we do that at community night. It's the first public performance of the play. And then we just promote everything that there is to promote in the neighborhood, both at community night and through the run of the play. The very first quantum play was actually in this neighborhood. It was called Pedro Paramo, adapted by me and a friend, Lynn Connor, from a, a great Mexican novel. So it was a world premiere. Really, I just wanted to make a, a work, and then I wanted to make another work. It seemed appropriate that a company might develop as a platform for this work. And it wasn't, at that point, just about one work, but about a, a continuum. I didn't really know it at the time, but I was falling into the model of a, of a not-for-profit arts organization, one that has a mission to serve. Pittsburgh has nurtured the evolution of an artist, my goals and the unknown dreams. I have been able in turn to provide a platform for other artists in that same way. Pittsburgh as a canvas for this environmentally made theater is extremely rich and extremely beautiful. Often quantum plays um, deal with subjects that are um, challenging, possibly dark. The times that we live in have a lot of things that we should examine. Not all of them are happy. <laughs> but there is great beauty to be found at Quantum Theater, I feel, because the city itself is so beautiful.